Today's launch of Atlantis will mark a historic milestone in U.S. spaceflight endeavors. The primary objective of this mission is to dock for the first time with Russia's Mir space station. Uh, this is also the 100th U.S. human space launch, dating back to Alan Shepard's first historic 15-minute suborbital flight 34 years ago. Uh, also, this will be the first time 10 individuals will fly aboard the shuttle during a single flight. And we are seeing live video or live uh, TV coverage of our seven Ascent astronauts who will be flying aboard Atlantis today. Of course, we'll be uh, dropping off the two cosmonauts and uh, returning with two other cosmonauts and uh, astronaut Norm Thagard on the space station. We are looking at uh, mission specialist uh, Greg Harbaugh who is on his uh, third flight today. He is mission specialist number two. And mission specialist number one is Ellen Baker. Uh, she also is on her third flight, and she is the payload commander for STS-71. The mission commander, flight commander, is uh, former chief of the astronaut office, Commander Hoot, Robert Hoot Gibson, on his fifth flight. Uh, one of our two cosmonauts that will be flying today is Anatoly Soloviev on his fourth flight into space, his first aboard the shuttle. He is the Mir-19 commander. And uh, his fellow cosmonaut, Nikolai Budarin, on his first flight into space. And uh, our own pilot, Charles Precourt, who was on his second flight into space today. Following their lunch, the crew will be given a uh, briefing on today's weather conditions, which uh, at KSC, as well as at the various contingency landing sites around the globe. And then they'll put on their flight suits and make preparations to depart their crew quarters for the launch pad. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus three hours and holding. And we have live TV of our seven crew members who will fly aboard Atlantis today, beginning with Commander Robert Hoot Gibson, who will be on his fifth space shuttle flight. He is the former chief of the astronaut office uh, just prior to uh, taking this command position uh, for this most significant flight, STS-71, which will dock for the first time with the Russian Mir space station. Gibson is being joined by his uh, pilot and his mission specialists, as well as his, uh, as well as the two cosmonauts who will fly aboard Atlantis today. His pilot's name is uh, Charles Precourt, and of course he is uh, the uh, second uh, in command aboard the shuttle, and this is his second flight into space today. They are being joined by mission specialists Ellen Baker. Uh, she is on her third flight, and she is the payload commander for STS-71. She has prime responsibility for the space lab that is situated in Atlantis Payload Bay. This looks like our mission specialist, Greg Harbaugh. And he, uh, it's difficult to distinguish them sometimes in their helmets and suit, but uh, he is the, uh, he is responsible for the orbiter docking system, which is also in Atlantis Payload Bay. Next we have uh, one of our two cosmonauts who will be flying on board today. This is Nikolai Budarin, who is on his first space flight. He will serve as the flight engineer for the uh, Mir-19 crew. And they plan to stay on the Russian space station for several months once we launch and deliver them to that space station. Mission Specialist Bonnie Dunbar is preparing her for her fourth flight. She trained in Star City in Russia as the backup to astronaut Dr. Norm Thagard, who is currently aboard Mir, and she would have been uh, aboard the Mir space station at this time if there had been any reason to not
permit Dr. Thackard to fly. Of course, he has been on board for the past three months, and now she's going to go and greet him and uh, assist in the process to bring him back. Our second cosmonaut who will be flying aboard the Space Shuttle Atlantis today is Anatoly Soloviev. He is on his fourth flight into space, this of course being his first space shuttle launch. And he is the commander for the Mir-19 crew. Uh, the Mir-19 crew, of course, consisting of uh, himself and uh, Budarin. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. And we have live pictures of our seven person crew who are going to be flying today aboard Space Shuttle Atlantis. And we have uh, our first look today of uh, Hugh Gibson as he is walking out with the rest of his crew. Uh, coming with him is the commander of the Mir-19 crew. Uh, commander Soloviev, uh, as well as the other members of the crew, pilot Charles Freeport, mission specialist Ellen Baker, Greg Harbaugh, Bonnie Dunbar, and cosmonaut Nikolai Budarin. All are in the process now of making their uh, entry into the Astro van where they will be driven uh, on about a 25 minute trip out to launch pad 39A. sequence start Atlantis onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicles critical functions T minus 20 15 12 T minus 10 9 8 7 6 5 we have three main engines up and running 2 1 and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission that will herald a new day of international cooperation in space. Houston now controlling. Houston, all 
Roger, roll Atlantis. Atlantis is completing a roll maneuver as the vehicle turns into a head down position on course for a 161 nautical mile orbit and rendezvous with space station Mir. Throttling down now at 68% uh, of radius thrust as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Approaching one minute into the flight, the orbiter is downrange from the launch site, three nautical miles, the altitude already up to 40,000 feet. Atlantis, Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle of 104 percent. The vehicle's altitude is approaching 70,000 feet downrange from the launch site, 10 nautical miles. Atlantis is already traveling 2,000 miles per hour as the vehicle passes through one and a half minutes into the flight. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters at about the two minute four second mark of the flight. SRB separation is confirmed aboard the orbiter. Atlantis is downrange from the launch site, 32 nautical miles. Altitude is 170,000 feet, traveling 4,400 feet per second or about 3,000 miles per hour. Performance nominal. We copy. Performance is nominal, Kirk. Houston, we show Miko on speed. Atlantis Houston, we show a nominal Miko. Ohms one not required. We copy, no Ohms one. Uh, we now again have live television from the cargo bay of the spacecraft. Uh, this from a camera that's uh, in the forward corner looking at the front of the space lab module mounted at the far end of the cargo bay of the shuttle. This is Mission Control Houston. This live television from Atlanta shows the docking module uh, located in the forward portion of the cargo bay of the shuttle. Houston, Atlantis, uh, out to the ODS whenever you're ready. Go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, that all went uh, very well according to the procedure and without any uh, difficulty. I have removed and stowed the three identified caps, uh, the four and a half sections of the booster fan, and at the aft end of the mixing box, uh, forward of the ODS. I uh, verified good airflow coming out the top of uh, the outlet there, uh, around the top of the halo and the external airlock, on top of the ODS, in other words. And uh, the payload isolation valve was closed. It is open. I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, but I think we've got a good configuration.